Hi, this is Rajay Kahil. Uh, I was waiting for some parts to continue developing my RK3D printer. And while I'm waiting, I decided to find a solution for printing uh, ABS without a heated bed. It sounds like an impossible uh, mission, but I think I'm succeeded with one of the methods uh, I have in my mind. This is the first one I tried now. I have a few other ideas I will try later, but I will show you now how uh, this, did this work. So printing ABS on a uh, non-heated bed uh, and the printing surface is ABS. Uh, it acts like a raft but uh, without a separation distance uh, it was easy to remove my next step is to uh, buy a 3 millimeter sheet of ABS not a printed one now my first here is a printed ABS blade I will buy a 3, three millimeters ABS uh, plate and it will be very nice because I can uh, I can pop the print off without uh, using tools so I will just flick the plate like for example like this uh, flex 3d plate maybe you heard about it you just flex it like this and the print will pop off anyway let's try now to remove this print to see how easily it will be now this is a very hard test for warping uh, warping uh, print it's, uh, I, I designed it for uh, to make this test especially for this test because it's uh, it must be a very hard test to see uh, if it will work so this is now it was okay until now but as you see here I, I have many other tests uh, all of them except this one I think that work before I continue so now the last one here uh, now it, it looks fine and nice and everything is stuck to the bed but when I remove it it may be a little bit it may warp a little bit after I remove it because uh, it's made as a warping test it has a very very strong uh, pulling force because you will see the design now it has a very thin bottom about 4 millimeters so now I'm separating it's easy, it's not, uh, not hard I'm separating the print from the surface that I printed wow. So this is the test. This is a skirt. Now if I look, yeah, it's a little bit warped uh, like the others, but after I removed it from the bed. And this is because, as I told you, it has a lot of force. Because it has three walls and a very small uh, bottom to stick to the surface. So this will be very hard to print in normal situation. 
even if you have a heated bed. Uh, here you can see the button. I am very happy with the results until now. Normal parts uh, usually won't work after you remove them, but this one did because uh, it has a lot of force, warping force. Now see the the surface itself. This is the surface. Looks great. I don't know actually why it don't stick too much. But uh, it doesn't. There is no separation distance between the this printed surface and the actual part. So this is very promising uh, results. Now the rem removing this was uh, easy and okay, and when using the uh, next step, I will show you another video. When I get the plate, the ABS plate, I will try to do it like this, and I'm quite sure that it will work uh, just fine and easily uh, I think also this will work with all other materials maybe not nylon but even though it uh, or even if it doesn't work with some of them like say PLA or PETG or something then I can try the same method uh, with the, the other material like PLA plate or PETG plate as a printing surface. Uh, this is very nice, uh, very efficient printing, uh, fast, you don't wait forever for the bit to, to heat to 100 degrees or 120 degrees and uh, you don't, you don't uh, waste a lot of uh, energy. So this sounds great. We'll keep you updated in another video. Bye-bye.